Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. I'm Ron Mackenzie Lafergie. Vampires have been the stars of books, movies, and TV shows for decades. These undead creatures of the night are clearly interesting to we humans, and they can be very entertaining to watch. But what if they left the realm of fiction and were actually real? What might be the consequences of this new race? Let's explore. If you want more What If videos, check out our Biggest What Ifs playlist on the channel. Now get ready, it's time to ask the question, what if vampires were real? Well, first of all, we should probably decide what kind of vampire we're talking about. There will be a huge difference between a world with sparkly twilight vampires and one with vampires more similar to Bram Stoker's. You know, the ones that go, I want to suck your blood. For the purposes of this video, we'll go with the classic idea of vamps. That is to say, they sleep during the day, come out at night, are damaged by the sun, suck blood of their victims, can turn into bats, can't be seen in a mirror, and must be killed with a stake through the heart. So what would a world with actual vampires be like? Well, as with many of our videos, it would largely depend on the extent of the problem. If there were just a few vamps here and there, it could be that they would continue to go under the radar. If they were careful and moved around, chances are they would be largely cast off as myth, even if they were real. It would take a great deal of irrefutable proof to show the more skeptical members of society, like myself, that they really do exist. However, if the vampires were rather numerous, it would be difficult to remain hidden for long, and eventually the evidence might give them away. If there was enough proof that they were real, it would likely send the world into hysteria. Everyone would distrust everyone else, friends and neighbors would be eyeing each other suspiciously, it would be a mess. Fortunately, this hysteria would likely be over fairly quickly, since it would be quite easy to test if someone was a vampire. Just put them in the sun and see what happens. Or heck, hold a mirror up to them and check if they have a reflection. Once vampires are known to be real, it would be near impossible for them to hide in plain sight. Given that there would eventually be a way to determine who was a vampire and who was not, there's a good chance that many would call for the extermination of vampires. However, there would likely be another large group, populated by both vampires and normal humans, that would strive for harmony between vampires and humans. If the vamps only drank blood that was given with permission, or if animal blood could quench their thirst, they could eventually find their own place in society, with their own customs and culture. It could even work out rather well for society, as these people would be more than happy to work the night shift that would be less attractive to the non-nocturnal. The existence of vampires could also be highly beneficial to humanity. If vampires were immortal, as they tend to be in the lore being undead, their genetic code could hold the secret to expanding the human lifespan significantly. If scientists were able to determine how this continued life was achieved without forcing patients to become the undead, it would be an incredible step for humanity, even if it might lead to the overpopulation. However, even if this wasn't the case, it could be that some people would seek out vampires in hopes of being turned themselves. Whether it's in search of immortality, power, or simply a thrill, some would want to become vampires. Particularly if vampirism was seen as a normal part of society, the benefits might outweigh the risks to some people. This could lead certain vulnerable populations into vampirism, including rebelling teens, the sick, and the elderly. However, it could be that vampires wouldn't be able to function in society. Perhaps the change into a vampire would bring with it a removal of the necessary empathy to get along with humans. In this case, there's a good chance that a war would begin between humans and vampires. This would likely work out rather well for the humans, since the vampires would be restricted to action away from the sun. On the other hand, it could be that the vampires would learn to build suits that could withstand the sun, and would then be able to fight the humans day and night. In this case, their supernatural abilities might give them an edge. In the end, the outcome would likely depend on how numerous the vampires were. If there were only a select few, it would be rather easy for humanity. But with even numbers, the ability to shapeshift and limited means of killing them would mean that humanity would have a rough go of things. And now we return to our question, what if vampires were real? Well, if there weren't many of them, we still probably wouldn't believe they were real. However, if the evidence presented itself, we could go in one of two directions. First, the vamps might live alongside us, either assimilating with the normal population or creating their own parallel societies. This could bring with it great advances in medicine and longevity, although it's possible that it would also result in many people intentionally turning to rebel or just to stay alive. Alternatively, it could result in a war between humans and vampires, which would be largely decided by the numbers on either side. Personally, I think option A is far more appealing, not to mention pretty darn cool. Thank you for watching Life's Biggest Questions. I hope this was interesting and informative, and maybe even inspired you to look into it further on your own. If you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe to the channel down below. While you're down there, let me know if you would choose to be a vampire if given the option. It's pretty tempting. Until next time, I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergie with Life's Biggest Questions, wishing you the best of luck on your quest for answers.